there is a four bar intro to this song and it actually starts on the fourth beat of the fourth bar. So this is how you would count yourself in. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, there goes my heart beating. So that's how you would come in. The first note starts on a D4 and it's very conversational in style. Not a whole lot of sustains, just very tell it like it is, kind of like you're having a conversation with somebody. There goes my heart beating, cause you are the reason. So there is a little bit of a linking thing happening here. You are the reason. The next line here, I'm, has a little bit of an H sound to it. I'm losing my sleep. And the word my trails off a little bit as well. And you can do that instead of doing it straight, which would be like, I'm losing my sleep. But if you add a little H to that I'm, I'm losing my sleep. That can actually give you a little bit of a momentum boost as you are singing through that phrase. Then the last line here is, Please come back now. Now, the word back now is a D3, and that is quite low for me. So if you have a female range, then you might struggle to hit that note. You can just do it very, very whispery. What you don't wanna do is force the note to come out because that's not gonna sound good in any case. Back now, don't try to squeeze the note out down there. Just really touch it lightly. Back now. Even if it's whispery, it totally works stylistically. So that's the first four lines. Let's sing it together. Remember, it's a four bar intro. There goes my heart beating Cause you are the reason I'm losing my sleep Please come back now Awesome! Let's keep going! The next section here, Scott Callum actually sings it a little bit more pressed in. So he's going from there goes my heart beating to more of this sound there goes my mind racing so you can play with that as well or you can keep it the same as the first line of the song that's okay too stylistically um, so if you want to do it the Preston way you can make sure you're anchoring your energy effort and effort down into your body not in your throat so you don't want to go there goes my mind right that's kind of too far. There goes my mind racing. And I would actually add a tiny little uh sound between mind and racing, just again to get into the flow of the song. There goes my mind racing. It's very subtle. You don't have to do it very obviously. It does bring some styling to your phrase. The next line here is pretty straightforward, not a whole lot of styling. And you are the reason. And this actually brings up a point that you don't have to stylize every single line of a song. You can sprinkle it in here and there. And that really is uh, partly experience. And the more you practice and the more you learn different styling embellishments and you incorporate it into, you, into your singing, the more naturally you can sprinkle it in throughout your song. The next line that I'm still breathing. So the word still is short and you wanna slightly sustain the E sound or the E vowel of the word breathing. That I'm still breathing. So it's E, I'm holding that E sound. That can help you to steady out your notes and make sure that you are um, staying on pitch as well. The last line, Actually, all of the notes are the same. It's re it's a repeated note. Uh, but even when a line has all the same notes, there are little things you can do to play around with the subtleties so that it doesn't sound too monotonous. Um, so Callum Scott here for the word I, he does um, um, a little bit of that vocal fry sound, that um, in that word I'm. So you can play with that. I'm hopeless now. And I think he goes now. He has a little bit of a dip down on the word now. So you can hear that if I'm just singing all the same notes and not having a whole lot of variety in the sound, it can be quite monotonous. I'm hopeless now. Right, you can, that's very obvious that I'm singing all, all the same note, right? 
but if I add a little bit of that styling, I'm hopeless now. And the word hopeless, I actually emphasize the O sound of the word hopeless. And again, that already makes it sound a little bit more three-dimensional. All right, we've done verse two. Let's sing together with Callum Scott. Please come back now. There goes my mind racing And you are the reason That I'm still breathing I'm hopeless now Amazing! Okay, let's move on to the first chorus. The line right before the chorus was the same note, right? I'm hopeless now. That repeated note is actually the same note that you're going to start the first note of the chorus on. So the word I'd is actually the same note as that repeated note from the previous line. <laughs> that makes sense. The reason I tell you that is so that you can have a little bit of a reference point. So when you are singing that last line of that verse, I'm hopeless now, I'd climb every, you know where to start the chorus. A quick note about this chorus, if you have a female range, then these notes are going to be in your lower register, so you're probably not going to have a whole lot of troubles hitting these higher notes. But if you have a male range, then these notes might be tricky if your voice is quite deep. So I would be careful with the word mountain because those two notes actually go right through the first bridge, the first vocal bridge of a typical male range. So watch your volume on those two notes mountain and also you can play around with your vowels too so the word mountain instead of thinking mountain you want to think mountain it's more of an o shape that's going to help you to make that high note a little bit easier to hit if that feels high for you Okay, so the other thing is with the word mountain is that there is a two note shift there. Ma, it's da da, mountain, and just hold that straight. So that's how I would handle the word mountain. Now, going to the first three words leading up to that, you already know where it starts. It starts on the same note as I'm hopeless now. I'd climb every, every. So I'm literally linking the word the M sound of the word climb to the every. Why? Because that's going to set my, me up for a better success on my high notes, as opposed to doing something like this. I climb every and just jumping into that word every. If I split it up that way, it's going to make the um, the mountain, the note, those notes, uh, a little trickier for me to sing smoothly. You can choose to hold the word mountain, mountain, or you can dip it down at the end there stylistically. It's up to you. Mountain. The next line here, the word every, has a couple of two note slides. Swim every. It's kind of like a zigzag. That's how I see it in my head. And swim every ocean. And then that uh, goes straight to the word ocean. There's a three note um, slide down on the ocean. Swim every ocean. So you can do that if you want to, or you can just keep it as one note. And swim every ocean. And hold that note too. That is okay. Choice is yours just to be with you. That's a really nice way to hold a difficult word like with, right? If you think of it as a we, we, with you, then it's actually easier to sustain that note. Fix what I've, you see how that little zigzag effect comes in? And fix what I've broken. The word O has two notes. Oh, kaza, and it goes straight to kaza. Oh, kaza, need you. Take a breath here for sure. To see. The word to here is a little higher. If you want to go into a falsetto sound, that's totally okay. I would definitely not try to strain up there. Keep it light and easy. And what you can do, what I find is helpful, is to think of that oo vowel. To to and practice that a few times to get comfortable with that note and that vowel to see 
The word reason in the last line here has re, there's da da da, there's three notes there, re, and there's a little bit of like a lift on that sound, reason. So the whole line together is that you are the reason. And how Calum Scott sings it, he sings the that you are, not lazy, but very linked up, that you are the reason. All right, you know how to sing it. Let's sing it together with Callum Scott. Hey, it's Crystal Diaz here. I hope you are enjoying this tutorial of Callum Scott's You Are The Reason. If you wanna know how you can find your voice for singing pop music, pop songs just like this, then I'd love for you to check out my free webinar. It's called The Three Singing Secrets to Finding Your Voice for Pop Music. For instant access, visit threesingingsecrets.com. Not only will you learn the three secrets that will help you to find your voice and use it the way you want to, but you will also learn about the community of singer students that we are building that you can be a part of as well. Not only are they learning with one another, but they are supporting each other. They're building relationships. They're connecting with other musicians and performers from around the world. It's an exciting community to be part of. You'll learn all about that inside this Three Singing Secrets training. So check it out, threesingingsecrets.com. I'm hopeless now I'd climb every mountain And swim every ocean Just to be with you And fix what Cause I need you to see that you are the reason. There goes my hand shaking. You can say shaken as opposed to shaking. You don't have to sing that G sound there. But also similar to the first line, um, I like to try to get that bouncy voice effect, that's what I call it anyway, when you have a little bit of that leaning action happening. There goes my hand shaking. See how it creates this nice little bouncy effect in my voice that can very subtly add some styling to your phrase without overwhelming the song in as a whole. And you are the reason. So the word the has a little bit of this uh, voice bump. That's what I call it anyway. It's a voice bump. The, the. It's like someone subtly just bumps you <laughs> and your voice bumps. And you are the reason. My heart keeps bleeding. So similar to the word breathing that we worked on before, this word bleeding here, we are just holding that e, that e vowel. My heart keeps bleeding. This last line here, the word you now, Callum Scott sings it low, but I'm not gonna sing it low because it's too low for me. So I'm gonna do a variation. One variation would be to sing all the same notes, kind of like the line we worked on previously. I need you now, same note. Or you could take the word you up a little bit. I need you now. And then kind of swing down on the word now. I need you now. I would probably do that. That's a nice um, variation. It's a little bit of a departure from the original melody. And also it stays more in a comfortable spot in my voice. I'd, I don't want to force my voice to go down because it just won't um, come up very nicely. So why do that to oneself? All right, so you have a couple of options there. All right, let's have a listen. There goes my hand shaking And you are the reason My heart keeps bleeding And I need you now Moving on. There is a little connecting sound between the word turn and back. So Callum Scott sings an N sound between the two. So like this, if I could turn back. So he actually adds a little N sound right before the word back. And that's really nice actually, subtle, but very nice stylistically because it just keeps everything nicely unified and it makes it, again, nice and flowy when you are singing. The next two lines, we're gonna treat it as one because you don't really take a breath until after this, I'd spend every hour. We're gonna to touch on the word I'd, we're gonna sustain slightly the word light. There is actually a two note sustain there. Light, like you're saying light, <laughs> like an ah uh, uh sound. And then the word defeated, we're gonna hold that E sound of the word defeated. I'd make sure the light defeated the dark, I'd spend every hour. 
and then take a breath here of every day I think there's a couple of two note slides there too of every day same thing we can add that zigzag effect of every day take a breath keeping you safe all right we did it let's sing with Scott, uh, Cal and Scott if I could turn back the clock I'd make sure the light defeated the dark I'd spend every hour of every day keeping you safe and I'd climb it There is a variation here in this chorus. We're just going to look at the last line of the chorus here. Everything else you can sing it similarly to how we worked on it the first in the first chorus. He actually links the word broken to O. So there is no breath point here and he only breathes after I. So it sounds like this. And fix what I've broken. No, cause I take a breath here. Need you. And here he does lean in, he connects and leans in, so he brings up more of that connected sound. If you can do that, great, but if you, that's a struggle for you, that's okay. You can still go back to the falsetto sound or that lighter, higher sound, that's okay too. To see. So let's bring it all together. And fix what I've broken, no, cause I, oh, I forgot to mention that O is flatted. So instead of singing, fix what I've broken, no, oh, instead of doing that, he's going here, oh, oh, so it's a, it's a flatted sound. And fix what I've broken, no, cause I need you to see. Hold that C a little bit longer, and then here, this section here is another variation and it almost acts as the bridge or the uh, middle section of the song where there is a bit of a departure from the um, regular melody line. There are some overlapping lines here and I've colored them in blue in the lyrics, but try to ignore them. <laughs> We're just gonna be singing the, um, the lead parts, which is in black. That you are the reason. Da -da -da. There's two notes there. Reason. When it comes back down, I would actually change it to an O, so it goes from A to O. That you are the reason. And the last one has two notes there. So after that first set of notes that we've just worked on, there is a second set. Don't worry, I'm gonna break this down for you. How he does it here is, you are the reason. So I like to think of it as multiple sets of a very similar pattern. So here is, reason. Can you hear how it's zigzaggedy? Again, that zigzag effect, right? Reason. So there's almost three sets of these zigzaggy sounds. <laughs> oh. So in my mind it's da 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 down up down da 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 down and then two notes up. <laughs> So let's put that all together. In terms of timing, this is how um, those two lines go together. That you are the reason. You are the reason. I need you to hold me tonight. So it goes straight into, I need you to hold me tonight. All right, I think we did that section. Let's sing it with Callan Scott. Keeping you safe, and I'd climb every mountain and swim every ocean just to be with you and fix what I broke. No, oh, cause I.
did it. All right, the last part is easy. It's the same as the previous choruses. Let's have a listen to see if there are any variations. Here we go. I climb every mountain and swim every ocean just to be with you and fix what I've broken. So very similar, it's just a lot lighter. This is the lightest chorus out of all of the choruses that we've done. It's not quite so much of that talking sound anymore, so it ends in a more um, understated, lighter way. Let's have a listen to the ending here. Cause I need you to see that you are the reason that you are the re three notes there three note slide on the re of reason that you are the reason very very nice and simply ended so the last thing i want to add here um, i want to show you when the last chorus comes in because after the line i need you to hold me tonight in this section here there is a long pause so there is a two bar count and again it comes in on the fourth beat of the second bar so to put it into context, I'm gonna sing from You Are The Reason, the second You Are The Reason with the three sets of the O's. I'm gonna sing from there, and then I'm gonna sing I Need You To Hold Me Tonight. Then I'm gonna count you in so that you'll know when to come in for that last chorus. You are the reason I need you to hold me tonight. Two, three, four, two, two, three, I'd climb. So let me break that down one more time here. I need you to hold me tonight. That click, that last click on the word tonight, that's the first count of that two bar um, count before the chorus comes in. I need you to hold me tonight. Two, three, four. Second bar, two, two, three, I'd climb. And then you come in on that, um, that fourth beat there. I'd climb, the word climb hits that fourth beat of that second bar. I hope that that makes sense and that helps you to have a little bit of a better framework for that last section. You did it. You now know how to sing the entire song. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, do let me know, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel if this is the first time you're here and send me a comment as well. I do check them and I, I love hearing from you. And don't forget, if you wanna know how to use our system to find your voice, strengthen it so that you can use it the way you want to, then visit my free training all about this. It's called The Three Singing Secrets to Finding Your Voice for Pop Music. Check it out at threesingingsecrets.com.